from a few different perspectives of sound design in Warframe, uh, composition, uh, voice acting, and audio direction overall. So in order to do that, we have some very special guests today uh, here for you at the sound panel, including Cole Crosby. Hey. Oh, we have to get an audio check, I guess. Embarrassing on the sound panel. Wow. Can we get... Cole, I know you're... you're I am talking. Oh, right. there we go. You're there? G -E -scree or Cole. You got to talk real loud. Hey, guys. How many voices do you do in the game? Uh... It's, a, it's, it's up there. A lot. Vor, Alid V, Sargus Ruck, Sargus Sargus Ruck. Ruck Shiktal, Clem, Hec Clem, Arbiters or Hexus. Clem, Clem, Clem. Yeah, Clem. <laughs> forgot about Clem. We have George Spanos. George, why don't you say a little bit about yourself? How's it going? How you, can you hear me? Check one, two. Audio yeah. test. How are you guys doing? You're good. Yeah? You're all the right. audio director here. I am. I am. You direct all the audio. I direct the audio that becomes audio. You got it. <laughs> And last but not least, we have Keith Power, the composer of Warframe soundtrack. So all the beautiful hello. music. Hello, hello. And I'm here moderating the panel. I'm Rebecca Ford. I work at DE as a, a moderator for this panel. And I'm also the Lotus the voice. Lotus. So if you didn't Woo. know that, surprise. Mother Lotus. Woo. You got it. So this panel, we're going to talk a little bit about anyone that might be interested in getting into sound designs. What do these guys actually use every day? And then we're going to show you some videos in a few orders about the sound design process from composition to voice acting and more. So what do you use, guys? Yep. That, so Pro Tools is our, our main audio workstation, but we have been using Reaper a lot. I don't know if you guys do any audio production. So is uh, that like a recent transition? Yeah, we, we both like. There's six of us in the, on the team, and it's, it's pretty divided. Some people love Reaper. Some of us don't like it as much. But yeah, it's kind of whatever you want to use and you're most comfortable with, you can use. So yeah. Do we have any budding sound designers in the audience? Anyone that's ever dabbled and looked into it? Very cool. Nice, awesome. Nice. Very good. Yeah. So you're hearing from the pros here. Yeah. Lots of, uh, lots of plugins. So lots of uh, stuff to make uh, voices sound cool, which you'll see in the video. You got it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You do a lot of live recording too, right? That, that's a big part of yeah. the development of the sound. Yeah, a lot of field recording. So we'll go out and we'll record, you know, we went to a sewage treatment plant, for example. Got a lot of cool Grenier sounds yeah. there. A lot of machinery. Uh, it smelled pretty so awesome. Did you just essentially say the Grenier sound like shit? Is that yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> well, we use, we use it, we use it as, 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 as a, you know, a way to like get the vibe. Yeah. You know, it's all about vibe. The sewage so. vibe. Everyone sewage wants vibe. that. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Gross. And uh, yeah, we record a lot of stuff at DE as well. A lot of voices uh, in, the, in the booth. Yeah. And, yeah. Why don't we uh, take a look at the process for sound recording right now? You yeah. guys made a very special video for us. So let's, yeah. uh, let's take a look.
Jeff's dog. <laughs> Jeff, you need to come up here and lick into the microphone. You yeah. gotta. Yeah. That was so good. Yeah, yeah that was Jeff. Jeff, one of our sound designers. Uh, he did a lot of the. Well, he did all the sounds on the Cavats and. Uh, yeah, that was a fun process. It's always fun when you get to like, you know, use real sounds for things. So yeah, there's not a ton yeah. of hyper organic sounds in the game. So yeah, so whenever we get a chance to record real things, we we try to do it. And like you saw with the Lunaro crowds as well, all the all the crowds in Lunaro, that's all DE yeah. staff yep. in the theater. I bet we could get a really good crowd right now if I open I, my recording up. Yeah, I think. <laughs> do we you could. use apps for your professional process? Is that we use some apps, but yeah. You know, I don't know. With, with little portable recorders and stuff. There was, um, they put GIFs on the screen to capture the Lunara moments. We didn't want to just sit there and say, you know, okay, everyone boo. It was... Get people hyped up for it. And so it's just, it's really, it's recording. It was probably, what, about 50 to 60 people there. And so we would record everybody cheering and we would do it three or four times and then we'd bring it back to the studio and we'd layer them all on top of each other and then you get this huge crowd out of it. Um, and then something that I didn't think we were going to do, but we did like the Lunaro chant. Uh, and I was like, yeah, I wonder if we should put that in the game. And I'm like, hey, Steve, what, like, how, what do you think about that? And he's like, yeah, let's do it. And it what became is the a chant? cool thing. What's the, what are, Lunaro. What are, what are, Lunaro. Yeah, I don't know if you want to try it here. We can have the largest, uh, we'll be setting a world record, essentially. The largest Lunaro chant ever done in Warframe history. We'll Somebody do it to, for 10 Lunaros. Should, someone needs to call Guinness. I've got my uh, recorder here. All right, let's do it. This is exactly what we did in the office when we launched Lunaro. So, three, two, one. Lunaro! 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 Awesome! We did it. That, I recorded it all. Nice. So essentially, you can all add on your resume, sound designer, Lunaro chant. So we essentially just got everyone a foot in the door there. <laughs> uh, let's do it. Thanks, George. Yep, no problem. So that's just, uh, we just talked a little bit about the process. The sound yeah. guys made some amazing more videos. I don't know how much you want to talk more about that. Do you yeah. want me to move on or what uh, you... I could talk about the first video, actually. Uh, yeah. It's an upcoming character in the game. We're pretty excited about it. And uh, one of our sound designers, Willem. He, uh, he did all the, he's doing all the sounds for, for the, the Queen's Guard character. Uh, and uh, so as you saw in, in the video, he used a lot of metal, you know, pieces of metal. He even fashioned like a little foot thing that he was able to like stomp on the ground. Uh, we take it very seriously. Yeah, that was insane. You guys yeah. have more toys than anyone else at the office. Yeah. It's just like a closet. We, we love garbage day because people throw out great things that yeah. we can use. Little you pieces of metal. dumpster divers, by yeah. the way. You never yeah. know when you're going to need it. Yeah. yeah. So we have, <laughs> exactly. So yeah, so that was fun too. And uh, you know, that's, uh, yeah, that's a little sampling of the sound design in the game. Uh, yeah, six of us on the team. You got so, it. So, yeah, got Eric and Travis and Jeff and Willem and Carl and myself. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. Awesome. And you can, uh, we'll go on to the next video now, which I think is the Voices of Warframe yeah. video. Yeah. I believe. As, oh. No, this is music, sorry. Do you want to do voices or music? Let's do voices first. Okay. Do voices. Oh, either so I'm stopping, I'm stopping. Keith, there you go. As you can oh. see, we're very prepared. All we're right. so close. I know. Here we Best go. for last. Keith, almost. you're next. Best for last. I promise. We're going to go right into Voices of Warframe. Rosh Root, Ted No. Now we fight together. Now we crush the greedy milk from hey, the man. skulls. Hey, sorry. <clears throat> yep. Do you, I'm getting a little bit of mouth noise. Do you want to just, yeah, maybe have a drink or something? Okay. And then we'll do another take. For sure. Yeah, that one was all right, but. It was good. I just think the next one maybe just like, you know, just make him even a little more intense just to kind of get that true Sargus kind of feeling, you know, he's a bad dude. Right? He's pretty crazy. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> okay. There we go. 
truth, Tenno. Now we fight together. Now we crush the greedy milk from their skulls. The corpus will pay for their crimes with their useless lives. That was awesome. <laughs> you kind of went a bit into Alid there. Yeah. That's cool. It's tough, man. Yeah. Rashwood, Tenno, now we fight together. Now we crush. Now this is the process, so that's the raw file, just the raw voice. Now we layer on some plugins. No. No. Rashford, Tenno, now we fight together. Now we crush the greedy milk from their skulls. The corpus will pay for their crimes with their useless lives. Rashford, Tenno, now we fight together. Now we crush the greedy milk from their skulls. The corpus will pay for their crimes with their useless Lives. It's pretty mean, Cole. That was yeah. Sure. He's, he's a bad pleased. dude. Right. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Tenno. Tenno. You know, we may not always see eye to eye when... <laughs> 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 yeah. That would be a bleep. Yeah. Tenno. You know, we may not always see <laughs> eye to eye Well, you don't have eyes, but... I'm pleased we've found common ground in our fight with these Grinier dogs. Yeah, that was all right. That's that was. Tenno, you know, we may not always see eye to eye. Well, you don't have eyes, but I'm pleased we've found common ground in our fight with these Grinier dogs. Behold the Tenno come to scavenge and desecrate this sacred realm. Behold the Tenno come to scavenge and desecrate this sacred realm. Behold the Tenno come to scavenge and desecrate this sacred realm. Thank you for making those videos, guys, by the way. Those are awesome. They're so fun to watch. That's great. So that's the voice process, eh? Cool. How does it feel to have a bajillion voices in the game? Uh, well, it's, I'm just a couple of them. I mean, we have so many. Our cast of characters is so big now. It's just, there's so much talent at work. There's so many talented people that we get to do these voices. It's just very humbling to be a part of it. And every time I see one of the characters that's my voice, uh, it's easy. You forget that it's you. And you're just like, oh wow, like that guy's a what a jerk character. <laughs> what, a, you know, what is like, he saying? This guy's there? a villain, and then it's like, oh, uh, hang on. So, are you? Have you ever internalized any of the Corpus or Grenier uh, emotions? Do you hate the Tenno? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> well, it kind of bugs me that they're all you know gathered here, to, yeah. you know, yeah. all in one place. You're triggering him, guys. <laughs> Too many Tenno. No, uh, it's it's very uh, easy to. Um, get into the character when you're reading the lines in the booth, you know, you've got these really aggressive lines that are talking all about um, uh, aggression and, and war and planning and scheming, obviously. So it's, um, it's really hard to not have some vested interest in one faction or the other. I'm very pro-Corpus, oh, even shit. though I do like Grenier and, you know, Captain Vore and Sargus Rock are cool, but... You're yeah. Corpus guy, eh? I don't know. I think they're cool. I like the robots. You are wearing a Tesla hat, so that's pretty tech. I can see this. I like robotics, I will say that. Uh, yeah. Nice. Nice. But. And for you, George, like, this is, a, you know, you've worked on a lot of games at DE, you've been here a while. This is kind of one of the first times all the voice, most of the voices started in-house. How's that for you as an audio designer to have people, you can just pull them away from the lunch table, it's like me, every day, I and mean, then it's great deprive me it, of food. Well, it's, it's, yeah, well, it's really convenient. Like, 
you know, to, you know, a lot of times lines come in at the last minute, a lot of design happens in the last minute, so it's really, it's great to just, you know, hey, Rebecca, can you come by and, and record some lines, or Cole, can you come by? So it's really convenient that way. New and writing will come in. Like, new writing, writing comes in, and, yeah. It's, uh, Ryan, our writer, writes some fantastic lines, and uh, yeah, it's, it's great because we really get to interact together and really create the character together instead of, uh, you know, someone else doing it. You send off an email, here's the line, send it back. Yeah, which we do a bit of that too. Some of the characters in the game are third party people, but, uh, but most of the big characters in the game are in-house people, which is great. It's a great. Uh, a lot of the character isn't even uh, like plan in advance the nuances of voices or characteristics. It's just sort of organically um, evolves in the booth as we're sitting there, you know, sweating and trying to get it like just the right take and we realize, oh, that actually sounded pretty cool, you know, or that one really didn't, let's, you know, shy away from that. Well, and the character development too, like I know even Al V, it took a long time to kind of figure out the voice. It's like, what should this guy sound like? You know, what should, what's his motivation? And you tried a ton of things. A little bit of everything. Little, yeah, exactly. A little positive, a little negative. Exactly. He's, 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 he's definitely, but the cool well, thing is I think you can hear the difference in between them, right? You look at Vor, Sargus, and Alid, and the end result is a very different kind of character, which is pretty cool, I think. Somebody you want to shoot in the face. Exactly. Like, lots, and exactly. then kill them, and then they they're back again, back. and you're like, didn't I kill you? Yeah. 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 yeah, so what's it like to have one of the longest links? I don't know if anyone here played, you know, pre-Void as a Friday, but Vor is a monologue in T4 missions when he talks and sings. Oh, <laughs> it's oh all, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a long one. Yeah, well, I remember, was uh, that the recording session where there was just like a booklet of lines? <laughs> it was just, there was, there was quite a few a extended recording sessions, but it's, it's very exciting. Every time there's just one line, I want to like stretch it out so it's like a whole couple hour long recording Ten. session. And we have to rein him in. Yeah, yeah. George is like, that one's fine. He We're gets done. In the booth Go back. And it's like, get out of it's here. like, okay, cool, we got it. Oh, but what if I tried this yeah. and this? I'm, and, I'm gonna yeah. try these few yeah. things. Yeah. But it's great, we end up with something great. I'm the end. complete opposite. I'm like, I have too much to do. Yeah. <laughs> Rebecca always has somewhere else to go and I'm like, but just one more take, Rebecca, please. So, I no, never say great. no. You're a one take wonder though, so it's okay. That's what they, that's what they call me. What do you guys do the voices like right here, right now? Oh. oh. Do you want to have it? <laughs> we actually, we did a Christmas carol together that we oh, never no. released. Oh, right. oh, oh no. It was, oh, was it Sargus, Rock, and Lotus? No, we don't, we actually oh. don't have it here, so sorry to disappoint, but we did it. <laughs> I forgot. I know. We can talk about it. We'll I, talk about well, it then. We can talk about the it. The person yeah. who, who gives me $1,000 after the show, I'll give you a USB stick with it on it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Did split it. Split it. Split it. You would deprive DE's reputation of legress and generosity in order to no, make a thousand bucks? Uh, Baby It's Cold Outside, as sung by the Lotus and Sargus Rock, but it, the, it was rewritten. <laughs> the lyrics weren't the same. They were rewritten. Uh, That's right. Well, it's it's Tenno, it's cold in space. Is Tenno, what we it's cold in space. <laughs> yeah. uh, and it was, it rhymed and everything. I think yeah. I want to hear a bit of that, though. Um, oh, I, no. I don't remember... <laughs> Something that my, my clan space. members, it was your clan members will start to worry. Remember all this stuff? Oh, yeah. oh it's oh. been too long. I know, it's we been can two find years. It. So. We can, you know, it'll be a nice reward. One day, guys, one day we'll release the we'll. duet Christmas we'll Carol. Maybe we'll do a Change our names and move I to know, another country. I know. But speaking of music, <laughs> if there was ever a segue, <laughs> Keith. Thank yes. you so much for yes. coming to Tenacon. We have a video that I guess we can start off, if, unless you want to give a little before or after. No, let's do all it. All right, we're going for it. Hopefully, this is the right one. Yeah. Debut.
Dude, I teared up. I know. Oh, I joke. I'm serious. It's good. Oh my god, like, I can't, I don't think I can continue the panel anymore. Like, your music, dude. That's kind of you. That's, yeah. I appreciate that. Little known fact that uh, it was a year ago, almost to the day that we finished um, this piece. The secondary Re music. So it would have been last summer that you got. Oh yes, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, there were a few versions. It there took were. a few. There had you know a few, few kicks at the cat, as they say. Yeah. You better not be kicking cats on my stage. There's no kicking All right. cats. All right. <laughs> Proverbial kicking yeah. at the cat. Yeah, no, Keith did a fantastic job on it. I mean, we, we kind of came to him and with this crazy idea of like, hey, so we need a theme for the game. Uh, can you just send us a few ideas? And Keith's like, uh, okay. <laughs> it's playing. I know, that's kind of amazing, actually. Yeah. This, is, this is blowing my mind. <laughs> this is yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually, the, the sound waves are so dense in here, it takes them that long to reach. That's <laughs> right. So it's just that's it. basic physics. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. But, exactly. but did, like, how much did you know? Because you know that music now is so symbolic for so many players, because the moment in the game when you hear it, it's the first time you hear it, and sh like, shit gets real, right? Like it's, it's, how much did you know going into writing that piece? What did you guys tell each other at the time beyond we need a theme because I don't think I couldn't imagine a more perfect composition I, like, yeah I mean right in the feels th thank you thank yeah. you again I really appreciate that and I appreciate um, being asked to do it you know oh. that that was that was amazing um, it, trying to remember I think there was jo you know George usually calls whenever he needs music and, and and gives me the brief and I think the brief on this was um, you told me a little bit about the cinematics, but you also said you couldn't tell me too much about the cinematics. Probably because um, they weren't done yet, and because <laughs> I, I don't think Classic they were done D. yet exactly. Yeah. Um, but th th then the other part of it was just that you wanted a theme that could could possibly become the theme of the game uh, um, as a whole. Yeah, I mean that it's kind of it kind of grew organically. It's you know Keith kind of came up with the melody, and uh, we were like, wow, yeah, that's great. Okay, and. And then we had the idea of why don't we get a you know a female singer on this because it just would, you know, my the whole idea was that you know the the, the lead singer is sort of the lotus, you know, and and the choir is are the tenno, and I kind of had that idea of like how the, wouldn't that be cool? Yep. And Keith ran with it and and did this this fantastic job with just make pulling all of that together and orchestrating it and. Uh, and, the, and the drumming, we knew we wanted to incorporate the, you know, the taiko drumming in there. Yeah. So it's a little bit of everything. It's a little bit of the tech. It's a little bit of, you know, drumming, uh, the lotus, the chanting, all of that stuff. So what's, what's interesting about the process too is that almost every every time, you know, you're asking for music, George says, you know, it, I think we need something that's like a minute and a half, two minutes, and then once we get into it, they always. Isn't that like a seven-minute song? It's, it's about seven <laughs> yeah, minutes, okay. something like that. It's five and a half or so. <laughs> but it's yeah. great. I mean, I, I, for one, never get tired of it. And it's funny, uh, we were talking about this the other day. I know when we have something good, when I can remember it after. And as soon as I heard this melody, I was like, that's it. This, this is the theme. This is going to work great. And then putting it up against the Second Dream cinematics was just like, you, yeah. You, you I couldn't mean, have planned that better. Yeah. I mean, it, it kind of just came together in a beautiful way. It's a very yeah. special moment. Game. For for players, it's a very special moment. Like that quest is very special. absolutely no spoilers. I, but, yeah. you I have, maybe so we're past that. But. I know you're working. I know we kind of teased at the end of the cinematic at PAX. There was the War Within music, so I know you guys are working on other stuff, and you kind of showed the Queen Guard. And I don't want to spoil too much, but you do have more coming for the players. We do. I hope so. We yeah. Do. yeah, you're not I stopping. Hope, the game I is not. I hope I haven't been fired. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Keith, this is uh, yeah. you know we're After here to say. Panel, we'll have to have a talk. You're done. Yeah. No, we've uh, we've got some. I mean, I don't know if everyone's heard it. We we kind of teased a bit of the Queen stuff, and uh, I'm really excited for that and how yeah. that's going to kind of come together. And we've got some cool stuff planned for that. So working on my harpsichord chops. Yeah. yeah. Is that kind yeah. of a new theme for the Grenier as well, in a way, coming? Or how would you express the comp the composition you're working on for the War Within? It's unlike anything we've ever heard. Is it going to eventually take the place of the faction theme, or what do you guys have planned for that? George. I mean, that's yeah, that, yeah that's director a, audio man. That's a great question. I haven't I haven't really thought about that actually, but uh, you know we'll 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 see kind of where it leads us. I think it'll definitely become part of the Grenier canon, you know, um, you know, and I guess just the whole thing with Grenier is 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 making them feel orchestral and and making them feel uh, like they're you know using real instruments as it were, whereas Corpus is very techy and digital, and so we. 
you know, we like to differentiate them, and, and the Queens will add a new dimension to that of like, was it dulcimer in there and harpsichord, mm -hmm. harpsichord and, and, mm -hmm. and some vocal Singing. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you guys can catch a, a sneak peek of that on our YouTube channel for the War Within cinematic trailer, which I guess I could load up and play right now if we wanted, but I know no. you guys have probably heard it, so. Yeah. But uh, as with all panels, um, we do love to do a Q&A session. So I know Dean is standing, will be standing somewhere with the microphone. Because, oh, unless you guys want to talk about your favorite Warframe set. I kind of figured your vid videos did the job here. But if you want to talk about it a bit. Favorite Warframe sounds. Wow. The music. But get ready for the a Q&A. Meet Dean at <laughs> and, the mic. And for, yeah. No, uh, favorite Warframe sounds, yeah. Is that for me or the, or? That's for you. Oh, for me. And then we'll do a Q&A after we get okay. through your guys' kind of highlights of your Warframe career so far. I mean, I, I don't really have you know, a particular favorite sound. I think one of the things that I'm kind of most personally proud of, I don't know if you guys have played the current, the, the update that just got released, but I'm proud of the star chart stuff we did there. And uh, are, yeah, I'm really happy with that. And then just, you know, all the weapon sounds in the game, you know, we get a weapon and we have literally like a week to, to make it happen. And, and I think that the team does a fantastic job with all of that. So there, There's sound in everything. I know we did our art panel earlier, and you got to see a lot of the process there. I was like, OK, they concept, they model it, and it goes. But with sound, like it's UI, voices, menus, cinematics, every single thing in the game has a sound, no matter what, at all times. Pretty much, yeah. Anything yeah. that goes in the game, the sound department has to touch it. And uh, I mean, it's great. And we get to shape, shape the sonic lands landscape, right? So it's fantastic for us in that respect. So yeah. yeah. Uh. Do you have a favorite, Cole? Is it, is it Corpus related, I'm guessing? Uh, I, I like a lot of the original uh, VO that got taken out from back in the day. Whoa, that's sacrilege up here to say like, that. With <laughs> stay close to the walls. Oh, yeah, the, like uh, old school. The old school grenade. Old school, yeah, before yeah. school. Yeah. You got it. But, yeah. Do you special. have a particular favorite, Keith? Anything you've worked on? Uh, everything? I, everything, but I would, have, I, I would have to say the second dream, mostly oh. because of the, the, the great feedback that I've received from the fans, really. It's been it's pretty insane that first, that first 24 hours after it was released, and I think, Rebecca, you tweeted about it, and it was, I don't know. It was, what it, was the, it blew my there was mind. an app that shows you like the most played on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. it was like, yeah, listen on repeat, listen and it was, like, it was like, like, Drake, Hotline Bling, and then like <laughs> Adele, Justin Bieber, yeah, Adele, yeah, Adele. and then Hello. it was Warframe, and then it was like Warframe, Warframe. and yeah. I'm like, yeah. this, like Keith it's, sent me the, the the screenshot, and I'm like, Adele and I insane. are friends now because yeah. of that. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's the recognition. Awesome. He goes over to her house for a cocktail once in a while. Yeah. They hang out. Yeah. They're besties, but yeah, no, I mean, yeah. That's that fantastic. was that was that was pretty yeah. that was shocking. Yeah. And at, are we actually calling the song what the fans made it? Did we decide to name the track based on the fan title? I think we have to. It's yeah. not my say. So the song is officially. I think when Stalor D uploaded it, he called it "This Is What You Are," and we have officially called the song that just because he did. So thanks, Stallard. Yeah. 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 Is he here? Yeah, he's on he this. Here? He's yeah. a subreddit modder. So if anyone uses our Warframe, let him know. He's there all the time. So but that's uh, it's real. So. Cool. Yeah. Cool. You guys want to jump into Q&A? You want to yeah, talk about sure, it? Sure, yeah, sure. You got a lot of people lined up for you. All so right. We want to get wow. them all in because we, Let's and just as a reminder, we are, we are going to the autograph um, booth after, and then 10.0 Live starts at 6, but uh, why don't we talk sound now? Hello, sir. Uh, hello. Can you hear me? Oh, there you go. Um, I am a religious uh, Reaper user. Um, sorry to the Pro Tools guys. Um, also, before my question, Keith, I love Cold and Gold, my favorite oh. track. Yeah, it's uh, one awesome of my work. favorites too. Thank you. Um, tech question for the Pro Tools and Reaper users: What are some of the plugins you use? What are some of the uh, shortcuts you do? What and besides the C414, what are other microphones do you use? Yeah, so I guess as far as mics go, 414, I love it. It's very universal. We have a 416 as well, the shotgun mic. Uh, plugins, we we use a ton. We, we love the Sound Toys stuff, uh, as you saw. I think it was for Vor. Uh, or sorry, uh, Sargus actually. We use the sound toy stuff on him. Um, you know, uh, Valhalla makes some great reverbs. Uh, we just try to get as many different plugins as possible. Um, and then what was your your first question? Oh, uh, like which like shortcuts in Reaper? Or yeah, it's funny because Reaper is one of those things, and we joke about it in the audio department where uh, we first got it to try it out because we heard a lot of people were using it. But it really is like a box of puzzle pieces that you kind of have to put together. Whereas Pro Tools, out of the box, it just works. But uh, one of the sound designers, Eric, wrote an amazing set of scripts for us to make it run like Pro Tools, but have all the benefits of Reaper. 
So, because uh, otherwise Reaper is pretty hairy to figure out how to use it. And a lot of the built, a lot of the built-in Reaper uh, plugins, or a lot of external plugins. A lot of external stuff, yeah. But Reaper comes with some great plugins as well, and just being able to like change the pitch on a region. I mean, it's fantastic. And, you know, it's got stuff that Pro Tools doesn't have for sure. So, yeah. Thank you so cool, much. Man. I was wondering if you had anything to say on the matter of the theme music we had for the reveal of the Sentient, because I think it was a year ago, or more or less, and we had this very creepy music with the Sentient, and I really loved it because just looking at it gave me chills. Yeah. Do you maybe have any uh, thing to say on the matter? Yeah, I mean, you know, Keith wrote a great track for that, and I think, I mean, you know, we did that trailer with some of that music in it, and. Uh, yeah, I mean, just another great track. Uh, do you have anything that you'd like to add to that? J just that it was inspired, the, the sound, the creepiness, the creepy factor was inspired by, the, for me, the visuals um, of the sentients. Yeah, yeah we creepy. talked about making them feel organic and kind of like metallic and, you know, it's kind of interesting. We, we kind of, we did some sound design and then we, we, were, we said to Keith, hey, like, they kind of have this metallic insecty feel to them and the sounds and, and Keith's like, okay, cool. And then he wrote music that kind of complemented that. So the mesh of that stuff together worked really well, I think. So yeah. Yeah, it's one of my favorite pieces too, actually. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. Hi. Um, so Cole, if it's all right, I have a question for Captain Vore. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, it's for Captain Vore. Yes. All right. yes. Oh, okay. My. So um, when are you going to stop leaving your pants beside my cryopod? Oh. <laughs> mm. I'm tempted. I don't, I don't know how to reply to that outside of <laughs> so I'd say something in Grenier. Yeah. Just say uh, Clem. <laughs> yeah, I, Clem will. Clem can comment for me. He would just say like, um, Krakata. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hi. Um, I wanted to know why um, some things changed. Like I used to play Warframe when the energy balls made this. Oh, wah, I remember. Wah, yeah, yeah. Wah, yeah. And, yeah. They, and they had different tones and. I thought, I thought that was really interesting, but I wonder why you guys decide to go against it's not the things like yeah. that. Or yeah. you, like, I mean, what happens sometimes is, is uh, you know, after you've played the game for a long time, like as devs, you're kind of like, well, maybe we can improve on certain things. And so when we think we can improve on them, we do it. And then when there's a backlash, we're like, oh, we shouldn't have done like that. Like the heck? Yeah. <laughs> or uh, the Bratton. <laughs> yeah. yeah there, there's uh, a lot. And that's a great yeah. question because a lot of those situations end up on my plate with George too because yeah. I'm like, man, you touched the twin vipers. What are you yeah. thinking? They love that. We, 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 yeah. We try not. You know, a lot of the time what happens is, is a lot of stuff goes into the game and, and we may not ha think it's perfect when it goes in because, you know, some things it's just it's last minute. And so then we try to improve them. But then, but you know, I mean, it's a good point. Like sometimes we, we have to change it back because it's like, well, you know, people get used to it and, and we just, we need to learn to love it. Yeah, so. I think a lot of it's for me as a player getting used to it. And like, I mean, every time you guys experiment, I'm always happier for it because yeah. it gives you room to move around. And I think all the weapons now have such a clear faction identity. And sometimes you just need to go back and revisit that idea that. Yeah, and, and we get new tech sometimes too, you know, like the weapon tech. And so oh, that speaking makes. Speaking of new tech, you just got the occlusion in. We got yesterday. The, yeah. I don't know if you guys have heard it. We're so, we're really excited about that. Like distance thing, sounds in the distance now feel much better. Uh, obstruction. So when an enemy goes behind a door or a pillar, he'll feel like he's actually behind it. Uh, so we're really excited. And actually, if we could tease a little, there's a new feature coming that we're really pumped about in the sound. What is department. that? I don't even know what you're talking about. Uh, this is like, yeah, this is like really like news. Is Jordan working news. on that with you? Because I can see him Jordan, right there. Yeah, is Jordan yeah. here? Yeah, he's right there. Yeah, so Jordan actually did all of the uh, distance effects stuff and the occlusion tech, and we're working on a new thing for weapons where uh, we're, making, we're making, it's going to make them sound like something you've never heard before. What so do you that's, mean? That's, I'm just gonna, I'm I don't totally, even know what you're talking about. Now I, that's, I that's where I'm going to leave it. And Jordan's working on it, and he's, he's making I it. I think Jordan's awesome. more susceptible to peer pressure. Yeah. Jordan, what is no. it? No, I'm kidding. Don't do it. You'll have to get him drunk and pry it yeah. out of him. It's yeah. not that good. It'll be OK. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Next question, please. Hello. Hello. Yes, this one's for Keith. Yeah. Uh, so of course, you're doing more music. But are you planning on going back to revisit any of the old areas? I mean, 
No offense, but I just hear like the same two or three tracks every time we do Grenier or Corpus areas. Right. Because after hearing what you can do with the second dream, I am sure you could do like a whole bunch of amazing stuff, say per tile set or even say unique boss fight music. You ever plan to do that or? I, I think that's exactly what we should do. I would love to do that. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. All for it. All for it. Thank you. There'll, there'll be more music coming up and it, it's, it's just a matter of time. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. Hello. Good afternoon. Bill Blunt here, PS4. Good job on kicking the competition in the face. Hey, thank you. We love Warframe a lot. So, <laughs> yes. Um, I've noticed that in the Prime series, there's been no infested weaponry. Oh. Are we going to get any Prime infested weaponry? I believe the mandate is keep it Tenno weapons for now. So until that changes, that's what you'll be seeing. <laughs> You've got a great voice, by the way. Yeah, can you? Can, yeah. You have a beautiful uh, voice. Uh, uh, no, I fine. appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. Man. Can you can you say a lotus line? It's the Grenier, perhaps. I can't say a lotus line. <laughs> you I can I can give you a four, or I can give you something else. Oh my <laughs> goodness! Right, right. Awesome. No, no beautiful. Processing no processing required. Yeah. I, I'm out of a job. Awesome. I'm jealous. So there you Good go. Good job once again. Guys. Thank you, you so much for your support. A ton of competition in the face. You've set the new border. You've made people have to go back to the drawing board, and everybody's here to show appreciation. We love Thanks, you man. guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I'm just a regular guy <laughs> who happens to play Warframe. Yeah. All right, I've got several questions. Do you have like a limited number here? Uh, you, you, I think we can actually get through everyone. We have, we have to start setting up for Tenno Live at five on the dot. So I think you're. Good. We still have 20 minutes. Okay, so I'll prioritize a bit. So, you know, I think my body can make a variety of sounds. I've got a mouth that says words. So you want to put me in the game? Um, you know, that's pretty good. We did a radio contest a while back. We did back. a radio contest. Yeah. Why don't we record you right now? And yes. We'll see. Yeah. see, I've got two hands. And oh, when yeah. I hit them together, it makes this clapping noise. But what would that be? Would that be a melee weapon, or what are you thinking? You have to have the vision, not well, just the you know, talent. I'm thinking that Tenno could also clap their hands as they well. They do. There's a clappy mode. Yeah. Yeah. I guess there's no yeah. sound on it, though. Well, now there can be. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this man's a genius. Get him a job. Okay, so serious questions. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Keith, Mr. Composer, what other works have you done besides Warframe? Ooh. Great question. Uh, what have I done? What have I done? What happened um, to you? <laughs> do a lot of television. I score a series called Heartland that I've been doing for 10 years. Uh, I score the Hawaii Five-0 reboot. It's on CBS on Friday nights. I'm starting the MacGyver reboot that's going to be on. Uh, I, 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 I'm going to start that on Monday. Oh my I'm supposed God. to be I'm here on vacation for three weeks, but I have to go back and start it on Monday. So. Um, and then I've, I've worked a lot in movies as well. I work on a lot of the Marvel movies. Um, I think I might be working on a DC movie. Like the two worlds are gonna be oh. mad at each other um, in the fall. That's uh, some other video game stuff. We yeah, don't want to talk about dropping. that. <laughs> Nothing we don't want to talk about the other just video Just Marvel, stuff. oh my God. Yeah. 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 And you still made time for us. Yeah. His rank ran up, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, George and I go way back, we're, we, we're, we've been We've known each other for, we, George and I have been working together for uh, 15, 16, 15, 16 years. 16 years, yeah. 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 Well, that's, we're very lucky to have that relationship with you guys, because, I mean, yeah, you guys are a dream team, for sure. Warframe wouldn't be what it is. I'm a little starstruck, Keith. I'm not going to lie. This is Likewise. Big, oh, likewise. Is, <laughs> you're so sweet. All right. Do you have any uh, more questions? Or? Uh, one final question. For the guns, would you consider recording real guns? Well, we did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you did. Oh yeah, my. we yeah we went we went to a gun range and uh, we recorded a bunch of weapons. I think we did a little uh, little dev workshop on that. Yeah, there was point. a video that we put out. Oh, yeah. video, yeah. <laughs> and oh, sorry, uh, I don't watch those. Oh, yeah. do you listen to them at least? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what happens if I answer no? Oh, it breaks my heart. Yeah. yeah. Wait, yeah, what? No, so it we, yeah, we have done that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yes. Thank yeah. you. All right. Cool. You, you good? You got your questions? Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, my question's about um, for Warframes like uh, Valkyr and Rhino. They have their, I guess, voice lines when they use That's abilities. Right. Are you guys willing to expand that to other Warframes? Because yeah. I certainly won't mind Trendy going, heroes never die whenever she blesses now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. From that yeah. game we shall not name. Well, 
it's, it's funny you should ask that because a lot of the frames incorporate voice. It's just very heavily processed. Um, actually, most of the frames have either our voices in them as sound designers or other actors. So, uh, is yeah, it well, limbos it, is like a whole bunch of gasps, right? Limbo. Yeah, that's right. We recorded a bunch of people for yeah. that. Travis, I think Travis did limbo, yeah. and uh, yeah, it was a bunch of a uh, bunch of us in the in the theater that recorded that stuff and. Uh, yeah, so we, we try to mix a lot of that in there and it becomes a subconscious thing, you know, you don't really recognize it right away, but it, it kind of, it's there and it's just something that is in your subconscious that there's a voice in the frame, you know, so, yeah. All right, so this question I got first for Keith. So when you're composing these songs, are you using more of an inspiration of a specific topic and or like idea and then work from that? Or do you kind of work the other way around where you start making noise or sound and then kind of work it into a theme? It's usually, it usually starts with uh, an email or a call <laughs> from George in a panic. It's usually in a panic. Yeah. No. Yeah. George is George always is, in a panic. Yeah. Is he always in always a panic? I was going to say he's never in a panic, but <laughs> you know George better than totally. I do. Totally. I'm sure the sound um, guys are like, yep. But, or um, no, I don't uh, know. And, and so, there, yeah, there's usually a concept in place uh, as a starting point for, for every piece of music. Okay, so for like, let's say then, you know, this is what you are, what would you say was the concept? What was the seed that grew into the song? Uh, boy, I, I think that it was, it was the idea of writing a, th an, a theme that could be, you know, a, a, a main theme for this new uh, next level of, of the game. You, you talked to, uh, we were talking about this last night, and I, I said to Keith, I'm like, well, so do you sit down at the piano or do you play guitar? Like, what's your, and he had an interesting response to that. How, oh, how? The response was that I, that I walk a lot. I do a lot of walking and uh, uh, just trying to get from one place to another usually. And, um, and I, I'll walk with my iPhone and sing. I'll sing ideas over and over and over. And then when I'm in front of a piano or in my studio, um, I'll go through that material and most of it is awful and horrendous, but I'll find little bits and pieces that, that I want to hear again and that I think I can expand upon. And, um, and that, that played a big part in, in the, uh, what are we, we're calling it, this is what you are? This is what you yeah, are. This no. is what you are. Yeah, that, that, was, that was sort of how the, that piece started. Okay. A lot of walking yeah. and wondering how I was going to ever, you know, come up right. with something worthwhile. All right, a similar question just in regards to all sounds. So, like, again, you, you mentioned how you specifically constructed that, like, metal foot to make the specific noises for that one Grenier unit. Um, so do you more so look for a specific, uh, like, you have, a, like, a goal of, like, a noise that you specifically want to make and then make it? Or, do, again, do you kind of just fool around with noises and kind of fit those noises to wherever they're needed? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of 50-50, so we generally have, like, an overall arching concept, you know? If it's Grenier, it needs to sound you know, janky and metallic and, and oily and, and dirty in that sense. And like and sewage, so, apparently. Yeah, and yeah. sewage, you know, and so, and so that's kind of the overarching theme. And then it's like, okay, well, how do we accomplish that? So then, you know, we go and we just find a bunch of things. And a lot of it's trial and error. It's like you try a metal clasp or you try a belt or something. And then it's like, oh, and then that gives you an idea for the next thing. And then you just build it up and build it up. And then you have this, this sound that is totally unique at the end. So yeah, that's that's kind of how it's they're done. They're audio wizards, pure and simple. These guys come up and they have. Oh. It's just amazing. Their I love offices, your work. I love your work. Their their offices are like are like, like nothing else. Yeah. I, I, when I first walked in, I thought it was like the storage room, because there's like weird vents everywhere and broken pieces of metal things and bricks and I'm like, yeah. this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> metal bars. And Very authentic. Okay, so just watching that video behind the Queen's Guard yeah. and their footsteps, I have to wonder, do you have some kind of closet or someone's old garage that you fill with? It's old, called the recording booth. Old yeah. junk yeah. that yeah. you use specifically for these sounds. Like, oh, yeah. we have this doohickey that we use yeah. for Excalibur Super Jump that's yeah. no yeah. longer in the game. Yeah. It's all in his recording booth. I'm not even yeah. lying. Yeah, we, we keep it all. And, and uh, I actually don't, like, Jeff and Travis have a, have a booth as well and it's full and it's like we, we built them this nice like 12 by 12 booth and like you can't even walk in it now it's like there's toys it, swords there's, there's yeah oh. there's like broken drums in it and and metallic pieces of metal rebar and stuff and 
and it's great because you just you have all these things on hand and you just you're like okay well what sound do we need to make today let's see what we can create with that you know and some of it's with synthesizers too some of it's digital like a lot of the corpus stuff so just depending on the faction you know yeah if you find something feeling that the cleaners love the corpus stuff and not so much the grenier stuff exactly exactly hello <laughs> Um, first of all, you guys have done a glorious job. Keep up the good work. Um, I love your music. Uh, you're right up there with Evanescence for me. Um, first of all, um, I've got like four questions, so I'm just going to try and I, condense them. I'll give them. you a good read of the time. We have four minutes left in the panel. Okay, okay. So we'll first. do one, or really quick. We'll do quick, quick, quick. You got okay. it. Um, I remember in the Corrupted missions, the Corrupted soldiers um, used to make this echoey hissing sound, <sighs> sound like that, um, but you changed it now, so it's just an auto-tune version of their normal voice. My question is, what did you use to make those voices? Um, so the new ones? Yeah, uh, the older ones, the, older the hissy, ones. the hiss. Uh, that's actually me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and it was, I remember, it, it, was, it was like a day before we were going to release them, and I was like two years ago, and I remember Steve saying, so yeah, so we need some new voices for these guys, and I'm like, oh my god, and I went into the booth, and I tried a bunch of stuff, processed it, put it in, and, and the reason we changed it is because I've hated it for two years, <laughs> and then finally, one of our other sound designers, Eric, uh, went in and did a proper job of it, so yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, and by the way, who's Hun Hao? He's, uh, he's an actor that we hired through a, a, another third party kind of uh, facility. You're uh, not giving away names? No, you know, to be honest, I don't, I don't remember his name. His but name's Hun Hao. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. but he's, he's fantastic. Yeah. He does a fantastic job at it. So. All right, you'll get well two done. questions, sorry, because we've got two minutes left, so hopefully we can... Hello. Hi there. Hello. Uh, sound design question. Uh, barring licking oneself, what is the weirdest way you've captured a sound? It's yeah, gotta be up there. That's, that's an interesting question. Um, that could be embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> oh um, no. I have one, George. <laughs> Do you? Golf club into a frozen turkey. Right. Yeah. Which, wow. which the juices of which went into Dean's eye. Yes, it was disgusting. Was, yeah. <laughs> that that yeah that was a good one. Yeah. That was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. We are trying to beat up meat to get good sounds. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> I'll never forget that day. <laughs> Hi, um, you've talked about most factions here, and I'm completely unbiased, but you You're wearing an infested costume. Uh, I'm completely unbiased, <laughs> but you haven't mentioned the infested. Yep. Um, can you give us any thoughts on where you're trying to go with their um, audio directions and what feelings you're trying to hit with that? Yeah, I mean, uh, Travis, one of our sound designers, uh, did a lot of those sounds, um, and it was just, tr just trying to make them feel gross and disgusting. But the, the interesting thing is, is you still need to convey what they're doing, right? So if they're attacking you, you need to kind of give them that rage. And if they're just kind of patrolling, you need to find a way to make that work too. So we worked, we worked quite a bit on, on making them feel that way. And uh, I mean, I think it comes across. Um, so yeah, that's just, you know, and there's a bunch of voice stuff in there. There's a bunch of like gross slobbery stuff in them. It's just a mishmash of, of sounds that kind of came together. So. Thank you. All right, we got two more questions, and then we'll set up for 10 Live at 6 o'clock. Okay, so as a fellow composer, arranger, uh, music teacher, violin teacher, is it possible to get um, your music that you've shown up there and other music posted online for download um, for teaching purposes, whatever else? Awesome uh, uh, job on the strings, huge fan. And the other thing is, if anyone hasn't asked it, silence weapons, are you going to put in updates for those sounds as opposed to the regular weapon sounds? You want to go first? Yeah, in, ter in terms of the soundtrack, we are, George and I talked about it last night at dinner. And we're, the plan is coming together. Uh, I think there's some pretty cool ideas in a way to make the, uh, the soundtrack um, special. For, for the fans, and, and I think we're, we're getting there. I can't, yeah. I can't say when it will be released just yet, but um, th it will definitely be available uh, soon. Yeah, and I mean, like, even like, I think, like, sheet music, I think, I never even thought about that, but that'd be great to, like, 
to, to have some kind of a download for that. Yeah. That'd be cool. I don't know. What, we got this yesterday from you. So if you're happy with us to post it on the forums, we totally oh. will. You oh, just oh, need absolutely. your prolific. There you yeah. go. It'll be on the forums with yeah. sheet music. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and the, uh, I'm sure there's people transcribing in case we don't. They're like, yeah. uh, e. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and the, and the weapons of silence, weapons, it's a, it's a tough question because it's sort of, we, we talk about this in the sound department a lot, you know, given infinite time, silenced weapons, I think your question was about silenced weapons, right? Yeah, when silenced, you put the mod on, they don't go silent. Oh, they don't go silent, right. Yeah. The, the biggest thing with that is that a silenced weapon still needs to make a sound, right? Otherwise, it just doesn't make any sound and it doesn't feel powerful. And so, because each weapon in Warframe is different, it would take a, a lot more time for us to make a custom silenced sound. Um, but you know, I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibility. Um, you know, and future update. All right. And we got one last question. You're the last one. You're wearing a stalker shirt. Very appropriate. What's up? <laughs> um, having heard roughly 30 consecutive hours of the simulator firing, I'm just curious how you came up with that sound. Yeah, I mean, that, that's. Man, we have like what, 400 weapons in the game? Uh, it's getting there. Something I guess like if you that. include prime variants yeah. and wraiths and everything. I don't. Was that was that you, Travis? Did you make the simulator? Yeah. So, yeah. This, I, there's the sinoid and the regular. I think I think it was a lot of like digital synthesizer stuff that he used to make it feel high tech. Can you put your hand Actually, up, Travis? If it was digital tech. Maybe he tech? can answer the question. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you want to run it. Was it all digital stuff? You can nod yes or no. Oh. Uh, mostly digital stuff and some glass. Right. Oh, like breaking glass. Uh, yeah, shattering glass. Oh my right. god. That's right. Yeah, it's give the most it kind dangerous of a job in the studio. Field, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, we are actually running a bit over the panel now because we got to set up for ten alive guys. Thank you so much for coming in the audience here. Big round of applause for the panelists. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are awesome. I don't know if you have any last remarks you want to say. No, I yeah. mean. Thanks for coming out and, and checking out the panel. And you know, we love what we do. So, yeah. and, and if you want their autograph, uh, head yeah. over to the autograph table, guys. It's just uh, all the way down over there. We're going to start setting up for 10 Live, which starts at 6. You can get a uh, quick dinner break over there if you want. There's going to be 10 Live broadcast on both theater stages. So, if you can't fit in here, you can uh, head over to the side stage because it will be simulcasted there. So, make sure you get your raffle tickets into the raffle box at the entrance because you'll have a chance to win 100,000 Platinum Power Plat Prize. NVIDIA gifts and more. So don't forget to put your raffle ticket in. And thank you, everyone. We're going to announce the winners on stage here. I'm going to be pulling it out of the raffle box at probably 6.50, depending on how fast we get through the panel. But uh, thank you again. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. You guys.